hello everybody and or anybody. It's Christian with Make Time for Fishing here. We have another beautiful afternoon out on Shem Creek today. It's about an hour and a half before low tide, high tidal coefficient, that's why I'm getting out here so late. Because you know, I like to fish around the low tide, but usually a couple hours before. But this current is so strong right now, I don't want to deal with that. Because I'm going to go a good mile to a mile and a half up the creek. But anyway, we're doing all artificial today. I have a uh, Bel Air swim bait jig and quarter ounce paired up with a Paddlers from Z-Man scented uh, paddle tail, five inches. Got a whole bunch of different colors with that bait. I also have some four inch ones. I also currently have the Ned Rig tied up. Uh, weedless Bel Air jig, football jig, and eighth ounce. It, this one's purple. Just the one I tied on. I've caught plenty of fish on the purple one before, so I'm not worried about the color. Uh, this is a tickler from Z-Man and the deal. I've caught a lot of fish and a lot of good fish recently on live mullet, but it's only been redfish. And I know there's a lot of trout and good flounder out in these creeks right now. So I'm hoping by switching up to artificial, I can diversify my portfolio a little bit with these fish I'm catching today. But anyway, I'm gonna get fishing. Uh, make my way up the creek. I have a little honey hole, Elise and I discovered in the last video uh, that I'm definitely trying to make my way up to, but I'm not gonna skip my other favorite docks on the way. But anyway, stay tuned and hopefully we get some good fish. Thanks for watching guys, bye. Not big, because it's growing. Oh, it's a decent little flounder. Not too bad. It's a little guy, but... Put that Bel Air jig in his mouth. All right, see you, buddy. Oh my gosh, the tiniest flounder. Look at that little guy. <laughs> oh. This is like another flounder. Yeah, wow. Another little guy, <laughs> like probably an inch bigger than the last one. Nice little trout choked that swim bait. 16 inch trout, I'll let him go. See if we get some. Another little tiny flounder. See you, buddy.
that's not a bad flounder at all. <laughs> not too shabby. With the uh, weedless football jig in his mouth. Let's get a measurement. Uh, 16. I, I like to keep him when they're at 18 so he gets to go. But, best fish of the day. Got a lot of flounder in this spot. Alright. Oof, just about to flap at me. I'm gonna try to be quiet so I don't scoop whatever's over here. I saw that one. That was sweet. This is a good bread. a good red. <laughs> wow. Try to keep him away from the dock. red. This is an ultralight rod, 10 pound line. <laughs> and this was the bite I was waiting for all day. Uh. Gosh. sucks. He got me around that pole right here. I saw him. He was right there. Alright, well today was kind of a rough day. I, uh, you know, I caught some fish. Got like four flounder or something like that. Trout. Um, but getting broken off by that huge redfish right at the end really sucked. That really hurt. I, I saw it so many times, I, I just messed up. I let it get into the pilings and it broke me off. It's one of those things, you know, using light tackle like this, it's just, it's gonna happen. But man, that was a, that had to be a 30 incher. That would've been my biggest on an head rig. Uh, biggest on an artificial in a long time. But anyway, it's getting dark, I gotta get out of here. It's only like five o'clock, but. You know how this time changes but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video more than i did making it because i'm just i'm sad i'm heartbroken about that but thanks for watching again and have a great day bye